Alrighty Lumberjacks, today we're going to be going over how to install the FDR logging mods in order to play them within Farming Simulator. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the FDR logging website, which is www.fdrlogging.com. Once you get to this page, all you got to do is go to this little tab at the top that says Downloads. So we're going to click on that. You're going to have this little pop-up that comes up and it says before you download the mods, you got to watch the video. This video is the video that you're watching right now. So this is just for new people um, so that they know how to install the mods. So once you get to this point, you can click here to continue to the mod downloads. Now this page lets you select the version of Farming Simulator that you want to download FDR logging mods for. So we have Farming Simulator 2019, 22, and 25. So you want to pick the version that you are currently playing. So if you're playing Farming Simulator 2019, you'll download the mods from here. If you're playing Farming Simulator 22, etc. So in this case today we're playing Farming Simulator 22, so I'm going to click on this. You're going to get one more pop-up that comes up asking if you'd like to donate. So if you're feeling generous and you'd like to donate to FDR Logging, um, it is very helpful to all of us in the community because we're able to buy more models and get new equipment and do all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're feeling generous and you want to donate and give back to the community, you can use any of these methods below here to donate. It also gives you the ability to vote uh, on upcoming mods, which is pretty cool. But if you're just here to download the mods, that's totally fine too. Just click on this, <clears throat> no thanks, uh, download the FS22 mods. So once you click that, you're going to be taken to this uh, download page here. It's going to give you the option to just download it. You can confirm by seeing Farming Simulator 2022 is the mods that we're downloading. So you can click download. Once it's downloaded, um, it'll go probably to most people's downloads folder. Everybody has it set up a little bit different, but in most cases, it'll go to your downloads folder in your uh, PC documents. So you're going to be looking at this one single file that you've downloaded from the website, and it's going to have all the mods inside it that we need to transfer over. So now where you want to go is you want to go to my documents. I got it open here already. So under this PC documents, um, you want to go in here, you want to go under My Games, which is this guy here, and then we want to go under Farming Simulator 2022. Uh, depending on the version of Farming Simulator, if you're doing 19, you go under 19, we're going to go under Farming Simulator 2022. So once we are inside Farming Simulator 2022, we go down to this Mods folder here, and then we double click on that and we're going to actually transfer the mods over from there. Uh, I'm just going to move these actually because these are my other ones here. Just give you a clean slate. Uh, okay, so on our desktop, we still have that file that we just downloaded. So I'm going to double click and open that. Drag this off to the side here. So now what we're looking at here is we have our empty mods folder over here for Farming Simulator 22. And then we have the full file with all the mods in it over here. So the easiest way and what I like to do is I'll go over here and I'll click on one of these files here. Then I'll go on my uh, keyboard and I'll hit control plus A as in alpha. And it'll select all of those mods that are in the list. Then what you want to do is you want to click on any one of these and hold down your left click. And we're going to drag all of those files over into the mods folder. And it'll take just a second while it transfers all of those, but you'll see all the mods kind of transferring over. So we're just going to give that a little second here to do its thing. And then once all the mods are transferred over, that's basically all you have to do to get the mods installed in the game. Very simple process. So again, we're downloading the file, opening the file, transferring over to that mods folder that's uh, for your game. All right. So now we can actually fire up the game, which I'm going to do here. And then once the game starts, uh, we can pick a uh, level or a difficulty and start it up here. Okay, so now that we're at the main menu here, we have a career over on the left hand side. So we're going to click on career. You can pick any of the empty slots. That's where you'd want to start your game. Double click on that uh, and then choose your difficulty, whatever you want. Uh, this is the part where you're going to see uh, all the different map choices. So if you have the FDR logging maps, you'll see these maps like Axe Mountain here created by FDR logging. That's a good tell to know that the maps were installed properly. You'll see them all here. So you can pick any map that you're interested in playing. 
and then click continue up in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, this here is the section where you're going to see all the mods that are included in that mod pack. So these are all the ones uh, that you just downloaded and transferred over. So you can double click and turn on and off any mods that you don't want, or you can deselect all and select all down here to make sure that you have them all. Uh, every time we update our mods or we install new mods, I usually go deselect all and then select all. That'll guarantee that everything's checked off and I haven't missed anything. So once you see that all the mods are checked off and they're good to go, they all have this little box marked, uh, you can click start and that'll let you actually start the game. It'll start firing up here. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it uh, for installing the mods. In the rest of the video series, uh, I have actual instructions on how to buy the maps and buy the uh, equipment and all that stuff once you're in the game so that you can play with it and use it. So please check out the Learn How to Log series after you watch this video. It'll get you acquainted with all the different types of forestry equipment and the procedures for how to log. Alrighty guys, that's it for the install video. We will catch you on the next one. See ya.